To our top story tonight, Jackson Police Chief James Davis is responding to why a rocket launcher, which has been in the evidence department for a number of years, appeared during a news conference yesterday in reference to recent police activity. It's all part of the debate between city council, the public, and JPD on how the department is planning to combat crime. 12 News' Alex Love is live at the Jackson Police Headquarters with some answers. Alex? You know, Melanie, simply the sight of this military-made rocket launch weapon caused shockwaves from the community all the way up to the city council. Turns out the firearm had been with JPD for, a, for multiple years, and Chief James Davis is calling its display in this particular setting a mistake. Former Jackson police spokesperson Tyree Jones, now with the Hines County Sheriff's Department, took to Facebook stating this rocket launcher displayed by JPD in no way relates to crime today. It's been off the streets for several years. You can't present an instrument of this magnitude and not give more information, he continued. It was moved to the display for the media by mistake. The rocket launcher was placed in an area where we have all the evidence that we collected within the last uh, operations last year. It's unclear how this mistake was made, with some online claiming it's been in the department for more than 20 years, and JPD made no attempts on Tuesday to clarify about its case, keeping it tied to recent operations. We've got different operations that are going at this time. We have Operation Safe Streets. We have Operation New Year's Eve, as well as Operation Enforcing the Stay-at-Home Order. A lot of these uh, weapons were confiscated during these operations. This is a result of some of that work that our officers have been doing in the field. This misinformation spread all the way from the public to city council members, getting calls from very concerned people who want more accountability. I did have constituents call me and say, uh, we got people with rocket launchers in Jackson, and, you know, and so the narrative needs to be more about the solutions than, you know, certain tactics. Chief Davis also gave details on where he's been the past couple weeks with people not seeing him at the last two law enforcement committee meetings or holding news conferences on rising crime. I took off a week. When I took off a week, uh, uh, there was a, a meeting held, uh, and I did not know anything about the meeting. So it will be great to have meetings when I'm here. So I can address whatever concerns because I'm in meetings and wards all across the city when I don't see anyone else. Chief Davis argued he told the mayor about his time off two weeks prior, but this communication never made it to the city council or his own team. Can you tell us why the police chief wasn't able to come today? Did he not know about the meeting or what was he busy with? I'm not sure of that. I'm not sure. I, I feel some type of way when we call these meetings and the chief is not present and, and we're not able to hear from him. At the most recent city council meeting, Chief Davis was in attendance and tells us the department is working closely with the city council and all necessary entities to finalize more plans and more operations to keep combating crime like gun violence and drugs in the streets of Jackson. Live outside JPD headquarters, Alex Love. 12 News.